Hi, I'm Gareth with Nanometer, and this is Ask Nanometer, where we answer your technical questions in plain English. Today's question, what's the difference between forward phase and reverse phase dimming, and why would I use one over the other? Common question, often confused by the terminology that gets kicked around. Basically, forward phase can also be known as standard, incandescent, triac, magnetic, and leading edge dimming. And reverse phase can often be called ELV, electronic, or trailing edge dimming. Both types of dimming are high voltage dimming methods, and so they rely on the power coming from the grid and manipulating that in order to dim the product that's attached at the other end. So, if we take an oscilloscope and we attach it to those power wires coming from uh, utility, what we're going to see is a sine wave that looks like this. That's because the power is 110 volts AC, it's 60 hertz. So 60 times a second, we're going to bounce from 110 volts, 110 volts positive to 110 volts negative. And it's going to basically cycle through that 60 times a second. So when we attach a forward phase dimmer or a leading edge dimmer, what we're actually doing is we're manipulating that power in order to dim the driver that's attached to it. And it does it in this way. So if we take the dimmer and we take, set it to 50%, what it's effectively going to do is it's going to hack off the front side of the sine wave. So instead of now having the steady climb to the top of the mountain and then uh, trailing down on the, on the trailing edge, instead we're going to have an inrush of peak maximum potential and then a steady climb back down and then the same thing on the negative side. Similarly, on the reverse phase dimmer, if I do the same thing, if I take a reverse phase dimmer, I now set it to 50%, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to cut that wave in half again. Only this time, because it's reverse phase, we're actually hacking off the backside of that wave. So now, instead, what we're having is you have the steady climb up, but then it drops off, and so on and so on. So we're always going to be reaching maximum potential and going to full power. We're just only doing it for half the amount of time. So, a couple of things that can trip you up on this. Basically, if you pair the wrong type of dimmer with the wrong driver. So if I take a reverse phase driver and I attach it to a forward phase dimmer, the uh, reverse phase driver is expecting to see this gentle climb to maximum potential. Uh, the forward phase dimmer is hacking that off, and so we have this inrush of maximum current, and that over time is just going to kill the driver uh, and, and make it fail a lot earlier. On the flip side, if we were to take a forward phase driver and attach it to a reverse phase dimmer, because we're interrupting the power on the trailing edge, then uh, you're going to end up getting large kickback voltages on the load side and ultimately over time it's going to blow it up. So that's the main differences between the two and why you would use one over the other. Basically, um, if you're using forward phase, it's typically in residential stuff or you want to reuse existing infrastructure. And the reverse phase is if you are doing a new build, typically because the driver ends up being of better quality, it ends up being uh, able to dim to lower values and all of that sort of stuff. So that's the answer to the question, and if you have another one, hit us up on, via email at info at nanoltg.com or on our Instagram. Cheers. Ask Nanometer.